Hi everybody, I would like to share with you my short video filmed on Sunday April 13th. It's a beautiful morning with a cold northerly breeze. We join the unring female Osprey who has been recently named Maya. I hope I have pronounced the name correctly for you. Doing a short circuit of Madden Bay. She then joins the male on the nest where they briefly mate. The male then flies over to the perch for a spell of cream. The male has a blue and white ring on his right leg with the numbers 28 on it. He is one of the ospreys from Site B and was ringed in 2010. He returned last year but failed to find a mate. So this year with the original male from Manton Bay 5R04 failing to return, 28 has so far taken over his te territory. At the end of the sequence on the perch to show you how successfully the osprey team train their ospreys he conveniently turns his ring on his leg for us. Notice the slight pause with bated breath. I'm only joking, it's all part of the breeding process. The male has now left his perch where he flies towards Mountain Bridge where there is a small coppice of willows. So far this morning he has made a couple of attempts at breaking sticks off for the nest without success, but this time he did it with perfection. He has also collected a large clump of grass for the nest as well as sticks in the short time I spent with them. I often marvel at the coming and going of with all these large objects, how it is the eggs do not get damaged. I know if it was me, the eggs would invariably get broken. In the past I used to watch 5R when he approached the nest with objects he would fly in low and then fly up onto the nest, whereas 28 seems to fly in at the same level and this time does it perfectly. They both spend a short bit of time on the nest before 28 flies off for a little bit of a fly around Mountain Bay where he returns to his perch above the nest and just has a little bit of a look round. After a while he returns to the nest where the female osprey spry some Egyptian geese who often hang around to see if they can take advantage of an empty nest site. If the nest was not occupied by the ospreys this would make an ideal nest site for them away from any land based predation. But after a brief chase by the female osprey to chase them away and washing her feet return to the nest site. I hope you all enjoyed my latest video. See you again soon. Bye.